when the average person thinks of archery, they probably think of a Robin Hood figure dressed in green, wearing a funny hat, and with a large bow. I don't actually look like that. Okay, maybe I do. People have different perceptions of what archery is. Some people think of hunters. Others think of the Olympic Games. There are in fact many different kinds of archery that are practiced around the world, and there are clubs and organizations which focus on these different types. Some of these you'll be familiar with, others will be new to you. So let's take a look at different ways people can do archery. Easily the most recognizable form, traditional archery is one of the simplest ways to enjoy archery. No fancy gadgets or materials. Many people get into this style of archery by buying a basic recurve or longbow and get straight into shooting. Some people do this as a casual hobby. Others will go further and craft their own bows and accessories. Whether you shoot at the range or take a walk in the woods, traditional archery is a simple pleasure, but the instinctive nature of it can hone bare bow shooting skills. Different cultures have their own practices and equipment, such as traditional English longbows or Korean archery or Japanese kyudo. By extension, you could include horse archery in this range. Whether you're a modern compound shooter or traditional recurve shooter, hunting is a popular pursuit in some countries. Hunting has its obvious appeals to outdoors people, with the challenge being in field craft and stalking game, ultimately leading to an accurate ethical kill. The close distances and skill involved in bringing down a target with a bow arguably makes this more appreciable than using a firearm. Note however that observation of local laws is a must and that includes what can be hunted and with what equipment. Bow fishing is also an activity that can be done, though like hunting this can be heavily regulated or illegal in some areas. When it comes to archery as a sport, there are several forms that you can shoot in. These are governed by World Archery, formerly known as FETA and regulated by regional governing bodies. Target archery is the most widespread, and this is the style of archery that is familiar through the Olympic competition, but other national and regional competitions have different formats that allow easier participation. Target equipment is specialized to promote the sporty appearance, with bright metallic colors and smooth shapes. Although the majority of shooters will shoot in a freestyle discipline using sights and stabilizers, there are separate competition classes for archers to choose to do bare bow and longbow. There are also differences between outdoor target archery and indoor target archery. Outdoor events take place at long distance, usually up to 70 meters, but the indoor round is most often done at 20 yards or 18 meters on a smaller target face. While the outdoor rounds test consistency, indoor rounds are about precise shot placement. Field archery takes the action away from the range and places it in more rugged terrain. Archers progress through a course with targets set at different distances and often different elevations. Field courses may also contain natural obstacles such as branches or slopes to put the archer in a less than ideal shooting position. 3D archery is very similar, but instead of shooting at target faces, the targets are three-dimensional models of various animals. 3D targets are marked with hitboxes with different score values. Both field and 3D are great for people who like to be out and about with the additional challenge of shooting at varying distances in varying terrain. Clout archery pays homage to the ancient use of bows. Archers stand on the line and lob arrows at high angles to hit a target marked on the ground. There are several other styles of archery as well. There is ski archery and run archery which feature elements of cross country. There's flight archery, which involves seeing who can shoot the furthest arrow. Archery is also used in live action role playing groups. There are a lot of ways you can get into archery and they can all be fun. It's important to have an idea of these different kinds of archery for several reasons. It plays a huge role in deciding what kind of equipment you get. The bows you use for target archery for example, aren't bows you can use for bow hunting. Another consideration is that Different governing bodies will regulate each different discipline. Likewise, clubs are affiliated with specific organizations. So for example, if you join a bow hunting club, it will not affiliate you with World Archery and you may not be allowed to participate in events hosted by a target club. It's also worth looking at what clubs around you offer as well. For example, some clubs are strictly 3D or hunting or target. 
some target clouds will offer indoor, cloud, and field, but some won't. If you're looking at the competition scene, there are championships for each of these disciplines and they may have different selection policies. To sum up, there isn't one single type of archery, and archery isn't just about shooting at a target. There's a large range of disciplines and activities that you could do, and hopefully there's something out there just for you. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. This is New Sensei, and safe shooting.